In this video, we will see how to pivot data in SQL. For that, I have created a table called as pivot table and inserted few columns as well as the data into the table. I will provide the DDL command in the description. Let us query the table that is pivot table. So I will execute the query. So we have the data which has three columns which is name, data and ID. Uh, I have created the same column in an Excel file and I can show you why we have to pivot the data and what is the sort of output that we are looking for. Let me take the table. So this is our input table and our output should look like this after we pivot the data. It is because with this kind of data we won't be able to do any sort of analysis because in the same name column see we can see we have name department experience salary for a single ID and again the same data is getting repeated that is name department experience and salary is getting repeated for a second person with a different ID. So what we have to do is we have to convert this and or we have to pivot this data to look like this which has five separate columns one for ID one for name one for department experience and finally the salary. So this data will be able to analyze multiple matrices we will be able to find some insights from this data schema not from this one so let us see how we'll write the query for the same for that here we'll be using a case statement to satisfy our requirement let us start with the select clause select if we look at our output what we want is id name department experience and salary so i will start with id so id we already have a separate column in the input table so i will put id here then i'm going to use case statement in order to split this column into multiple columns that is the name column i will be splitting into multiple columns using the case statement for that i'm using the case when the condition is case when name equals name so this name is the column name this is the data we have inside the column that is this name is the name that is we are giving here and when name is equal to name then it should be data data means this data which comes under data and name then we will end the condition and we'll give a name also for this column as per our requirement the name should be name only that is name now we are going to write a, write a second case statement let us copy the case statement because it's going to be same only thing is condition will be different instead of the name equal name here we are going to write name equals department name equal department then data and the column name will be department next is same case statement with a different condition for the experience column so instead of department here experience will come experience and the column name will be experience ne next again the same case statement with the condition name equal to salary which is going to be the fifth and final column if you can see here this is the fifth and final column which is the salary and then it should be data that is corresponding to the salary data and the name of the column should be salary now we wrote all the conditions for the particular columns that we require and now we are going to give the from close and the table is pivot underscore table now let us run the query and see the result now if we see the result we can see that even now we have multiple rows with the same id but we have lot of nulls in the data so what we have to do is we have to bring all this data into a single row that is for a single id we should 
bring this louis it experience of 2 and salary into a single row for that we will be using a aggregate function either you can use max min the result is not going to be different here we are going to use max so we are going to modify this query a little bit so instead of fetching the single row we are going to give a max function here and inside the bracket we are going to give the case statement and after the end we are going to close the bracket similarly for the next case statement as well put the case statement inside the aggregate function and close the bracket and since here we are using an aggregate function with respect to that id we are going to use a group by clause because we are using a aggregate function and group by will put the same column which we are using in the seller clause that is id now let us provide that now let us run the query and see what is the result now if you see the result this is the result that we were looking for that is we have id in a column name in a separate column department experience and salary in separate columns now the data looks meaningful so this is one method of pivoting data in sql there are other methods as well we will discuss that later thank you